go uh, east and east and north. He's armed. Minus 75. Securing central level 2 dropping. Roger. Minus 70. MIB switch to auto arm. Auto arm. Minus 65. Engines ready. Minus 45. Status check. Propellants. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Centaur. Pneumatics. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Launch sequence start. Mark. Minus MIB sir. armed. LO2 vent closed. Minus 23. LH2 vent closed. Minus 20. Minus 11. Min 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have engine ignition. We have uh, two solid rocket motors at this point. It, everything is looking. We've got f very, very nice. Five plumes looking very, very nice as it is 
racing towards the sky. Two good solid rocket boosters as well as the two booster engines and sustainer engine. It looks like five good plumes at this point. The voice that you'll be picking up in a minute will be that of Skip Mackey. Plus 40 seconds. We should be receiving in approximately uh, 10 seconds. We will be, we're feeling the, the engines in the MDC at this time, and it is considerably different than what we're used to for an Atlas. It's very exciting. We should be, the SRB, two, in, two SRB engines should be. Plus 60 seconds. Should be quitting in any second, and then, actually we have uh, SRB, the airlit pair have already been, uh, but there go the two solids, the first two, that's being SRB one and three. An exciting sight for us here in the MDC as the two airlit pair continue to thrust the engine, uh, the uh, Atlas 2AS into this. Post launch safety force report to east gate of complex 36B. Roger. The ground lit pair were actually jettisoned at one minute and eight seconds past the hour. We have solid motor burnout. Both solids burned out symmetrically. They look normal at burnout. And we have solid motor jettison. Both of them are off. Both boosters are burning well. Plus two minutes. Burning well. Two minutes into the flight, and we have all four of the SRBs have been jettisoned right on time as they were supposed to go. We will now see the booster engines being jettisoned any minute. The time frame where that is uh, at uh, Beco booster both engine cutoff. Both boosters cut off and sustainer burning well. At 247, looks very good. At 247, the track we're watching in the MDC is right down the middle. 227 plus in a minutes into the flight, and at 247, still burning nicely. We should have booster engine cutoff. Booster shut down, both boosters are down nicely. Sustainer continues to burn. We have booster section jettison and sustainer still looks good. Everything looks fine. PU is in control of the uh, sustainer at this time. Plus three minutes. Booster engine cutoff and booster engine jettison. We're at precisely the that at right on time. The uh, speed of the vehicle at this point is probably around 6,000 knots as it is going down the Sustainer continues to look good. PU continues to look normal. The profile that is being shown here in the MDC is right on the money. It looks like a very good Atlas 2AS mission at this point. Payload. payload. We have fairing jettison. Looks like uh, both pieces came off nicely. Payload fairing Sustainer jettison. continues to look well. PSS. Payload fairing jettison. Go ahead, jettison. PSS. Continues to look Can you let me know how the... Uh, Accelerator, accelerometer looks like the fairing came off cleanly. Sustainer burning nicely. The single sustainer engine cutoff should happen at 4 minutes and 47 seconds into the flight. The vehicle will be experiencing a little over 6.5 Gs at that point and will be traveling at 7,734 knots. Still a nice plume in the night sky. Uh, we are Sustainer still burning nicely. Four minutes and 24 seconds into the flight. Uh, PU looks normal. Very clean at this time. Beautiful data. Five. Sustainer still burning well. And we have sustainer shutdown. Right on time. Four minutes and, and we have stage separation. The Atlas has separated from the Centaur. Nozzle extension looks normal. Nozzle extension on the Pratt & Whitney engines. We on changed the, the format on the PCM system. We're in pre-start.
Five minutes and 15 seconds into the... And we have both engines up and burning. Both Centaur engines look normal. Centaur main engine start, MES-1, takes place at approximately five minutes into the flight. Just prior to MES-1, the nozzles on the RL-10 engines are extended. Centaur and its payload are now in first burn, the longer of the two Centaur firings. This approximate five-minute burn will inject the vehicle into a slightly elliptical parking orbit. After first burn main engine cutoff, Miko-1, Centaur, with the spacecraft, enters a coast period of around 13 and a half minutes. At a guidance calculated start time, just north of the equator, the Centaur main engines are reignited to burn about a minute and a half until the required intermediate transfer orbit is reached. After Centaur's second burn main engine cutoff, Miko 2, the Centaur provides the required separation spin up and specific pointing attitude. Separation of the spacecraft will occur approximately four minutes after Miko 2. Now the S engines have been shut off, and we have spacecraft separation, and we're beginning D spin. This is Atlas Control at T plus 29 and 28 seconds. The spacecraft separation was right on time, and of course this means for a very successful mission of the Atlas 2AS, the first Atlas 2AS, putting the first Martin Marietta Astrospace 7000 series satellite contracted by AT&T for usage in the Telstar galaxy. Telstar 401 is in the elliptical uh, transient uh, orbit at this point and will be put into geosynchronous orbit in a few minutes.